Hi there, this is Katie from Edley. Today I'm going to demonstrate our module on buoyancy. At Edley, before any magic graph, we include a rigorous description of the topic in easy to understand language. This is the page for buoyancy. First, we explain why the buoyant force exists in a way that is easily accessible from physical experience. Then, we present Archimedes' principle in a straightforward way, which is central to applying the concept of buoyancy in everyday life. Finally, for the magic graph, we want the student to practice what they've learned by using the presented information in a useful way. Here, we are going to determine the density of a solid object. We provide short, simple examples that can quickly test a student's knowledge and are relevant to everyday life. Above the magic graph, we have a problem statement and instructions for use. So here we see the problem statement. Kettlebells are out of stock this year, courtesy of COVID-19. You are a fitness enthusiast and you really need a kettlebell for your daily exercise. One day, a mysterious salesman shows up to your door. He has several expensive kettlebells to sell, each made of a different metal. Your job is to figure out what metal the kettlebell is made of and if it is worth the asking price. So we're going to follow the steps listed here and use the magic graph to practice what we've learned about buoyancy. So first, I'm gonna measure the weight of the kettlebell in a vacuum and enter the weight from the scale here. Then I'm going to measure the weight of the kettlebell in water and enter the weight on the scale Q. So using the formula that we learned earlier, we find that the density of this kettlebell is roughly 19.5 grams per centimeter cubed. Up here, we see different densities of different metals. So we have the density of gold, the density of silver, and the density of steel. We can see that the density of the object that we've just tested is gold. So I'm gonna shuffle and try again to see what other kettlebells the salesman has. So I'm gonna measure this kettlebell in vacuum. It's still a thousand. And I'm gonna measure this kettlebell in water. Now the weight's different. And again, we can see using the formula that the density of this kettlebell is 10.5 grams per centimeter cube, which is the density of silver. And it's that simple. We provided a text explaining a concept and then a magic graph to both test the student's understanding and provide a memorable example.